G'day. I'm not a happy chappy at the moment. I've had a rough weekend. First of all, I had that woman who I sacked because she pinched my stuff and I had to pay her $30,000 out of my hard-earned money. Then they tell me I've got cancer. And in the weekend, my bloody house burned down. Yeah, how's that? Not the one I'm in now, the other one. We I brought all the kids up in that, in Ashburton. Yeah, burned to the bloody ground. Jesus, wild. Now, what they're doing to me up here, you wouldn't believe what they're doing to me. You know what they've done? They're taking away my dignity. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to show you something here. Just hold the line a minute and I'll show you what they've done to me. Look at this. Look, look. Bloody napkins. They're putting napkins on me. Look at this. Unbelievable. God, mighty. You won't lie, see them. Don't you think it's unbelievable? I mean, you can't be seen walking down the street in those, can you? Eh? Bloody napkins. I'm 71 years of age, for Christ's sake. Bloody years since I had napkins on me. Mind you, there's a couple of good things about these napkins. See, I said to the doctor, I said, listen, I can't turn the tap off. He said, what do you mean? I said, the old fella at night keeps running. I go to the toilet, get back in the bed, and he's still running. He's got a bloody quick washer or something. And he said, oh, well, you can get the pads. I said, what pads? You can, you can buy pads or you can buy the slip-ons, you know? Like underpants. Oh, where do you get those? He said, at the supermarket. In the woman's section. Well, in the woman's section. So you go into the supermarket, and I'm looking in the bloody woman's section for underpants. Not underpants, nappies. And they're all women. And there's the men's ones right down the bottom, and you've got to get on your bloody knees to find them. And all the women are staring at you, waiting to get in line, you know, to get their stuff. Why they have them there, I don't know. They could put them down with, a, you know, car washes or something like that, or bloody, you know, where the tools are. Well, of course, there's no tools in a supermarket, is there? Well, why the hell don't they sell them in placemakers? I mean, placemakers, they're, they're promoting prostate cancer at the moment. Well, they could sell bloody men's napkins, couldn't they? Eh? Why not? Every time a bloke come in for his uh, timber, he could just say, how are you all for nappies? The nappy chappy, happy nappy chappies. Well, at the moment, special on happy nappy chappies. And throw them a couple of packs, you know. The good thing about these nappies, they're not all bad, you know. They'll hold three stubbies. Yeah, you can drink three stubbies and just lie in bed and just have a pee. No problem. Dry in the morning. Bloody good. Mobile toilets, they call them. Oh, yeah. A lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun up here. You see, I found the way to cure uh, cancer. Humour. Laugh about it. Laugh it off. Do you know what I do when I go into the radiation treatment every day? I imagine in my mind, when that big machine's going around me, I imagine in my mind that all the cancer cells are getting spat at with this, this uh, radiation thing and set on fire. And they're jumping out of the fire and me prostrate, they're hopping into my uh, gallbladder, into my bladder. And they drown. There. Yeah. All the bloody cancer cells are drowning in my bladder. Because the radiation setting them on fire. Yeah, it's called humour. Fixes it every time. Hey, thanks for listening to that bit. I'll catch you later.